Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing my review of a book I recently reread for the fifth time because I am obsessed with this series and that is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling. So this is the first book in that very famous series. If you guys have not read Harry Potter then please go read it because it's amazing. Um, and this was the Peru's Utopia Book Club Book of the Month for the month of July in preparation for the release of The Cursed Child, which came out on July 31st, which I have not read yet, but I will read it this month. So, as far as my, you know, relationship with the series, it's been one hectic ride for me. I first read this series back when I was in, like, sixth grade. I accidentally picked up Prisoner of Azkaban, not knowing it was the third book in the series, thought it was the first book, um, because, you know, I don't think, I don't think at the time it was very popular, where, especially where I live, but I'm not quite sure, because I was over six years ago, um, but I think it was just starting to get big, but, I can't, again, I can't remember, um, but I think one of my teachers recommended the series, because I was, like, really into Star Wars and other fantasy, um, stuff at the time, so they said, oh, Jackie, go read Harry Potter, you're gonna love it, I'm like, okay, get and picked up Prisoner of Azkaban. Didn't really get it. So I waited a few years and um, I think it was my 8th grade or ninth grade year um, around the time the Deathly Hallows Part 2 movie came out. I decided I'm going to give it another try because my best friend had brought um, the first part of Deathly Hallows, Deathly Hallows Part 1 movie with us to um, when my school went to D.C., uh, Washington, D.C. for um, an 8th grade field trip. Um, where I live, they have um, an 8th grade. I don't know if they do this in the States. When I, um, here in New England, um, I think just specific, I don't know if it's in other states, but I know in Massachusetts, they, um, if you want 8th grade year, you can go to Washington, D.C. for a week. And that's what I did in my 8th grade year. So I decided uh, that summer I was going to read Harry Potter. So I picked up the Sorcerer's Stone, loved it. I think I've been just read this in one sitting. I couldn't put it down because it was so good. Um, and then I read the rest of the series again. Loved everything about it. So glad I gave it another try. And since then I've reread it four other times. And this is my fifth time rereading it. So the world, you know, J.K. Rowling that she created for this series is just so spectacular. I wish I could have gone to Hogwarts when I was 11 years old. Believe me, I wish. Um, obviously that's like a dream but because Hogwarts isn't real I have to keep my memory so sometimes I, it's not real you can't go there Jackie um but I have been to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter I went there last year it was kind of like a graduation present for me because I was graduating um from high school in May and it was my technically my last um February break um before I started college so we thought oh it's the perfect time let's do Harry Potter World this year so we technically went to Universal Orlando more specifically for Harry Potter World, but we did go to some of the other attractions. Anyways, back to the book. Um, uh, as far as favorite characters, I talked a little bit about this if you guys have watched my Funko Pop collection. My favorite character in Harry Potter is Mr. Draco Malfoy. I love Draco Malfoy. I am a Silverian. I know it. I've taken the Pottermore certain quiz like five different times and every time I either got Ravenclaw or Silverian. So I'm a little bit of both, but Draco is by far my favorite character. Um, and I know a lot of people don't like him, but I know a lot of people who do like him at the same time. So there's like conflicting opinions on, on if you like him or not. Um, as far as the golden trio of on Hermione and Harry, um, my favorite out of those three is definitely um, Harry, um, Harry, Hermione. <laughs> um, I love Harry too. Um, but Hermione reminds me a lot of myself when I was that age. I was kind of the nerdy kid. Um, you know, always studying hard, always trying to do as best as I could in school. So, I w she reminds me a lot of myself. Um, as far as my favorite scenes in the book, I had quite a few, um, especially in this book. Uh, you know, the Quidditch matches, I just love those. Uh, you know, just playing it out in my head and then going to watch the movie right after. It's just like... Also, the final duel between Harry, Voldemort, and Quirrell um, towards the end of the book was really awesome. Again, 
you played out in your head and you watched the movie is just spectacular. Um, I think the movie adaptations are just as good as the book. Um, not, obviously they're not better than the book, but they're just as good. And yeah, so those are just a couple of my favorite scenes. Again, if I was to be in any Hogwarts house, it would probably be either Slytherin or Ravenclaw. Because um, I have a little bit of both. Um, I think they call people who like that, like Slytherclaws or something. But, yeah, so that was my review of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. If you guys enjoyed this play video, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, so be on the lookout for more videos on Friday and whenever I decide to upload another video and uh, all my social media links will be in the description box below so you can go check those out. I have Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads as well as my blog which I um, always have reviews up on there before I have them up on YouTube so be on the lookout for blog posts on there before I post on here and I will talk to you guys again very very soon for another video. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye!